Hi, I'm Julie from Pilates Bar, and today I'm here with Casey. We're gonna bring you a fundamental basic mat workout today, and this is gonna be part one of two. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you the basics with modifications, going through the first half hour of what you would see in a mat class. And then, like I said, part two, we're gonna go over our back and our legs in part two, but today we're gonna stick with abs and some rotational movements. So you ready to go, Casey? I'm ready. All right, we're gonna take you on your back on your mats, and we're gonna go ahead and lie down. And we're going to bend the knees so that your knees and feet are hip width apart. And now when we breathe in Pilates, we're always inhaling through our nose and exhaling through our mouths. You're going to hear me say that a lot. Now, if you're new to Pilates, brand new, and you might want to breathe however you're comfortable breathing naturally. Again, when you learn Pilates, one of the hardest things to actually remember to do is breathe. I know it sounds very basic, but it really isn't. So what we're going to do when you're lying on your back is I want you to kind of flatten your pelvis down so that your abs pull in tight. Now, you don't want to let your back sway and you don't want to jar your back down so much that you're hips tilt up. So again, we want to feel the pelvis heavy in the mat with those low abs engaged. We're just going to do a little breathing work. So you're going to take a deep inhale through the nose and expand the chest, the ribs, and the upper back. Then you exhale through the mouth and you're going to feel those ribs close down. Exhale as you do that. We're going to do that one more time. Take another deep inhale, expanding the chest and the upper back, and then exhale, close those ribs in. Now we're going to throw in a little movement. You're going to take another deep inhale, expanding the chest. Now, as you exhale, let that right knee float into the chest gently. Good. We're going to hold there. No movement. Take another deep inhale through the nose. Exhale and let that foot gently replace down on the mat. And the goal is to not wiggle those hips around. Another deep inhale through the nose with no movement. Expand the chest. Exhale and float the left knee into the chest. Good. Don't move. Take another deep inhale and expand the chest. On the exhale, let that foot float down smoothly. Again, try and keep those hips still. We're going to go for both legs, so don't move yet. Take another deep inhale. On the exhale, we're going to float both knees into the chest. Use the low abs. Good. Hold the knees where they're at as you inhale again. On the exhale, gently replace both feet smoothly down. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Another deep inhale with no movement. Exhale. Let those low abs pull the knees towards you. Excellent. Stay on the inhale, then on the exhale, replace the feet gently down. Perfect. So when we're moving in Pilates, and anytime we have our legs in the air, we really want to focus on keeping that pelvis flat using the low abs. Now next we're going to move on and go into hundreds, which is one of the fundamental moves that you'll see in every video we do. Now the hundreds, we do fire breathing. So we're going to be inhaling through the nose five times and exhaling through the mouth five times, doing that 10 times over, and that creates the word hundreds. Okay, so it goes a little something like this. It's So when we do the movement, what we're going to do is roll your head, chest, shoulders up into a crunch, and then the arms are going to gently pump up and down. Good. Go ahead and relax back a second. So that's what we're going to do with the upper body. The neck is going to be up for a long period of time. So if you feel like the neck gets fatigued, let the head roll back onto the mat and continue. Now with our legs, we're going to keep them in tabletop for the first, or uh, on the mat for the first 50. And then we're going to lift them up into tabletop with the knees and feet together for the second 50. Now, for those of you that have done Pilates before, there is an option to take them up to the ceiling if you wanna try that as well. So go ahead and do what's best for your body. So we're gonna bend those knees, place them down hip width apart, and take a deep inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth and roll to that small crunch, eyes on abs, arms pump, breathing starts at in two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five, in two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five, halfway there, three, four, five, knees up two, three, four, five, in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, we're almost done, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five, in two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, one more set, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five, let's hug behind the knees, let the head roll down, and you can go ahead and move that neck from side to side to relax it. 
Okay, now next we're going to go into pre-roll-ups, which is ab work. So we're going to float those feet onto the mat with the knees and feet bent as well as together. Arms are going to reach over the head, and basically we're going to do a very controlled sit-up. So as you inhale, we're going to lift the arms to the ceiling. Exhale to roll up to a little crunch. We're going to reach towards your knees on this one. No movement on an inhale. On the exhale, slowly release back and let the arms reach back behind you. Inhaling, you lift the arms. On the exhale, you lift to a small crunch, fingers up, tinge, there we go. Stay, inhale, and then on the exhale, we'll roll back and let the arms go over the head. So that's a modified version of a pre-roll-up. For those of you that have the strength to roll up to a seated position, that's going to be an option now. Inhale to lift the arms to the ceiling. Exhale and roll to seated, sit tall, very good. Inhale to roll slowly back one vertebrae at a time arms reach back two more times inhale to lift the arms exhale to roll up sit up nice and tall good melt back down really work those inner thighs together arms come back last time inhale as you lift the arms exhale to lift sit tall at the top Good, melt back down, inhale, always exhale the halfway point. Now for a roll up, the legs will slide straight. We want those feet to be flexed so all the toes pull back to you. We want your thighs to be solid. Now we're gonna start at the same way like we did the pre-roll up with a small crunch. So on that inhale, we're gonna lift your arms to the ceiling. Exhale and reach to the toes and hold. Stay to inhale, roll back, let the arms go back, exhale. Inhale one more time. Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale up to a small crunch. Hold. Take a deep inhale. Roll back on an exhale. Now, if you have the strength, we're going to do a full roll up or you can stay with a crunch. So you're inhaling to lift the arms. Exhale brings you forward. We look to the knees, reach above the toes. Good. Gently roll back down. Think of pushing through the heels. It'll keep you slow. Arms come back. Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale to roll forward and out. Look to the knees. Melt back down. We're keeping the thighs tight together to stabilize the lower half of the body. One more time. Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale to reach forward, head to the knees. Melt back down, smooth with control. Arms come back. Good. We're going to point both toes and bend the right knee into the chest. Grab behind the back of the right knee and hug it in towards you. You'll feel the hip flexor stretch out. Now from here, we're gonna stretch that leg straight to the ceiling and walk the hands up as high as you can without lifting your head or neck. Now, if your leg is up to the ceiling and if you kind of, if it's bent a little much here, so we're gonna bend that knee in. If that's all you can do, an, uh, another modification is to bend the base leg and put your foot flat on the mat. And that's gonna get this leg a little bit straighter when you grab onto it. So if you're having a problem getting that right leg straight, you're gonna bend the base leg. Slide that one straight. We're gonna hold about 30 seconds. Now the next exercise we're gonna go into is a leg circle. And the goal in the leg circle is to open up the hips. And when we're opening up the hips, you wanna make sure like we did in the first exercise that the abs are tight and the hips don't move around. So keep the leg where it's at. We're gonna place your hands on the mat. As you inhale, you're gonna circle across the body. So you circle across, down and hold one. Inhale to go across, exhale up two. Good, across, open the hip three two more to go inhale exhale two one last time now let's reverse the direction we're going to go open down and up for one inhale as you go out exhale to lift two good shoulders relax back for three inhale around exhale up four one more to go here we're gonna stay. Now try not to touch the leg, the head, chest, shoulders lift. We're gonna hover your hands off the floor. Stay on an inhale. Exhale, float the leg back to you. Don't move, inhale. Try one more inch, exhale. Hands grab up to the calf or ankle. Now you can keep the head up or down. It's a personal preference. If the neck bothers you, always drop your head down onto the mat and relax it. Now let's hug that right knee into the chest, roll the head back, stretch that right leg straight, left knee now comes in, we're going to grab behind the knee with a bent leg, 
And then we'll take that leg straight to the ceiling. Again, head is down, but we walk the hands up as high as you can. And again, if this left knee is too bent, you can go ahead and bend that right knee. It's just gonna get that hamstring a little straighter. And that's another option for your leg circle. All right, let's place the hands on the mat, point the toe, turn the leg out, and we circle across the body. It's a cross, open, one. Breath flow is inhale, exhale up, two. Navel into the spine for three. Inhale as you go around, up for four. One last time. Now we're gonna reverse the direction. Go open, down, and lift, one. Inhale to open the hip. Pull up for two. Good, low abs tuck in for three. Inhaling out, up for four. One last time. And hold, head, chest, shoulders, roll up. Your hands hover off the floor. Stay, inhale. Leg float it back to exhale. Good, don't move, inhale. One more inch, exhale. Hands grab up as high as you can to stretch that leg out. Again, it's a personal preference whether you keep your head up or down on this one. Okay, we're going to bend that knee into the chest, hug it in, let the head roll down. Let's go ahead and bend the knees and place both feet on the mat. Arms go back behind you over the head. Okay, we're going to bring you to a seated position. And again, if you're having a problem doing the pre-roll up, go ahead and come up to seated however you're comfortable. Inhale, arms to the ceiling. Exhale, roll to seated and relax the hands down. Good, next we're gonna go into rolling like a ball. And rolling like a ball is a spinal massage and a balance exercise. So what we're gonna do is grab onto the tops of your ankles with the knees and feet together and pick the feet up off the mat so you're balancing on the sit bones. Now head is gonna go down, you're gonna round your back and look at your abdominals. If this is too much to take the hands onto your ankles, you're gonna grab behind the knees and point your elbows wide as a modification. So now without going on the head and neck, what we're gonna do is rock back on an inhale, and you're gonna exhale, balance up and hold. Good, eyes down, elbows out, repeating back. Inhale, exhale up and hold. Good, repeat back as a spinal massage. Then you engage the abs on the lift. Let's try two more times. Inhale back, exhale and lift. One more time, back, inhale lift and stay very good we'll put the feet on the mat now we're going to reach the fingertips to eye level take a deep inhale and on the exhale we're going to roll you slowly down onto the back arms finish over the head and remember if the pre-roll-ups are too much just lay down however you're comfortable now the next five exercises that we're going to go into is the series of five from the mat uh the mat series and it's all about the abdominals on this one so well for single leg stretch you're going to bring both knees into your chest and again, we wanna keep that pelvis flat. We're gonna take the left hand, put it on the right knee, and the right hand goes on the ankle. Head can relax down. So anytime we're doing this movement, we want the outside hand to be on the ankle. It'll be a little confusing the first couple times that you do the exercise. So we're gonna take the left leg and stretch it straight out. Now, Casey's pretty advanced, so here is pretty much where we want the leg. However, those of you that might have back problems, the higher you take your leg up to the ceiling, the more it's gonna protect your back. So keep that in mind when you're switching the legs back and forth. And again, if you have any sort of neck problems, feel free to keep the head down the whole time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that leg down, we're gonna roll your head, chest, shoulders up, elbows out, we're gonna do two pulls on the right knee. So it's pull, pull, switch to the other side, pull, pull very good we have two pulls right and two left breath flow is in in then repeat that it's in in then you exhale out out and out out one more round guys double pull right and two left one more each side double right and two left hug behind the knees roll the head down move the neck from side to side Okay, next we move to double leg stretch. The first two movements or the first two reps we do, we're just gonna go over the upper body. So from here, you're gonna roll your head, chest, shoulders up and grab onto the ankles. Keep the legs where they're at. Try not to collapse the chest as you inhale, your arms go to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you sweep them around and grab to the ankles, chest up a little bit higher. There you go. Inhale, arms to ceiling, hold. Bring them up just a little bit higher for me. There you go. Sweep in on an exhale. Now, if you'd like to add the legs, first take your arms up to the ceiling. Second, take the legs straight up to the ceiling. And then we pull back into that ball shape on that exhale. 
two more times. Inhale to extend the arms and the legs and hold. Exhale, pull in. One more time. Inhale, extend, arms and legs out. Chest up a tiny bit. There we go. Pull back and exhale. I think I see those abs shaking, Casey. Go ahead and relax that down. Move it up from side to side. So what happens when we slow things down. Sometimes we feel it a little bit more. And next, we're going to go into scissors. So on this one, you want to do the best you can to keep your legs straight. We're going to bring the right knee into the chest and then take that leg up to the ceiling. Again, if the neck can handle it, you roll to a crunch and grab as high as you can. That left foot goes a foot off the floor. Remember, if you do have back problems and it bothers the back, right here might be your point of control. So what we're going to do is do the two pulls on the top leg. So it's pull, pull, switch off, pull, pull, repeat that double on the right and two left. Good. Breathing is in, in, and in, in. Then you exhale out, out, and out, out. Good. Another round, guys. Double on the right with a straight leg, two on the left, and then the pull's going to stretch that hamstring and lengthen those thighs. Good. Let's bring both knees now into the chest. Take the head, relax it down. You can move the neck from side to side. All right, two more in the ab series, guys. Hands go behind the back of the head or neck for double straight leg stretch. Now, ideally, your legs should be completely straight on this, but the first two rounds, we're going to give you modification, which will be a tabletop form or a slightly bent knee. So with the back, again, that pelvis anchored on the mat, we're going to roll your head, chest, shoulders up. On the inhale, you're going to lower the leg down at your point of control, and then exhale, lift them back. Good, one more like that. Inhale here, exhale here. If you want to advance it, legs straight up. We're gonna lower the legs down, keep the pelvis anchor. Don't pop all the back off the mat. Exhale, pull up for three. Inhale the lower, exhale up two. And if that's too far for you, you can always go halfway down and pull back up. Good, hug knees into the chest, drop the head down. So sometimes in Pilates, less is more. Okay, the last one we're going to do is a modified bicycle. So we're going to plant the feet hip width apart on the mat. We're going to take the hands behind the back of the head. Now we're going to pull that right knee into the chest. And as you do that, I want you to exhale and bring that left elbow to the knee. Drop the foot down. And then we go to the other side as you exhale for two. So oblique work. And then we switch right knee and left elbow over three. Exhale to twist four. And repeating five more to finish. Exhale. Exhale, five, and four. Exhale, over three, and we have two. One last time, one, good. Just let everything go down on the mat. Let those hands go right down by the hips. And next, we're gonna do some bridge worker pelvic lifts to just kind of roll all that ab workout. So with the feet, we wanna plant them on the mat, hip with the part. I'm gonna have you bring your feet in just a little closer. Okay, moving nice and slowly, we're gonna tuck the hips on an inhale and gently roll them up to the ceiling. Now, when you get to the top, you wanna to make sure that you don't sway your back. So go ahead and pop your ribs and sway. Okay, so this is a kind of a no-no. So what I want you to do is close your ribs in. You should feel complete flatness with the support from the glute underneath. As you exhale, we're gonna gently roll that back into the mat nice and smoothly. So on the inhale, you wanna curl the tailbone and gently roll up. Again, you'll feel the abs at the top, the hamstring and glute support from behind. Then exhale, melt down gently. Good, inhaling again to lift up bone by bone. And then exhale, curl and release. Good, two more to finish. Inhale to tuck and lift. And then exhale to roll and release down. One more time, inhale to lift up. And then exhale to release. Very good, let's slide those legs straight. So we're gonna be hip width apart now. Flex your toes back and reach those arms back behind you. On that inhale, we're gonna lift the arms to the ceiling. Exhale to roll the seat in. If it's too much, just go ahead and sit up however you're comfortable. Now next we're going to go into spine stretch and it's going to be a stretch through the back of the legs as well as a back stretch. So we're going to flex the toes back and we want to do the best you can to get your legs straight. Now if it is a problem sitting with the legs in this position, you can always sit on a towel. The more or the higher up your hips are off the mat, the easier it will be to get your legs straight in the long run. So what you're going to do is sit tall, take a deep inhale and give yourself a visual you have a beach ball at your belly. As you exhale, nod your chin to the chest and roll roll over that imaginary ball. Perfect. Now give yourself a visual that have a brick wall at your back and on that inhale you're going to 
stack the spine up sitting tall and this works your posture chin down on an exhale close those ribs in reach forward and those little toes flexing back to you will give you a nice hamstring stretch inhale to lift up to seated hold three more exhale as you nod the chin to the chest and reach forward good inhale to lift sit tall two more times exhale to reach forward again good inhale to pull back up gazing straight out one more time chin to chest exhale as you're reaching forward good relaxing the shoulders lift up sit tall on that inhale let's bring your arms up to the ceiling grow tall through the crown of the head do a forward fold grab to the toes or ankles hold a couple of breaths right there just to stretch out Today we're going to finish off with saw. So we're going to roll back up again to seated and make sure those feet are as wide as the mat now. And we're going to take your arms and open them up to a T to the side, uh, to the side wall. So we're going to anchor your hips down to the heels so there's no movement in them. As you inhale, spiral to the right side of the room. Exhale, the left finger reaches to the right toe, head to the knee. And we're going to take that back palm. It pushes up so you stretch out your shoulder joint. Inhale to roll back to a twist then center exhale twist to the left inhale reach forward and out exhale good roll back up to the left side of the room center to the front of the room inhale to grow tall rotate right left finger reaches to the little baby toe on the exhale good pull back up to a twist inhale center exhale over to the left twist out reach forward and out Good, curl back up, inhale, center, exhale, last round to the right to twist, left finger, right toe, back palm pushes up, there we go, inhale, lift to a twist, center, exhale, last round, twist to the left, work the obliques, reach forward, stretch your shoulders and your legs, roll back to a twist, center and hold, inhale, sweep those arms to the ceiling, exhale, do another forward fold, grab to the toes and hold, Stay right where you're at. Take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, see if you can sink a little deeper into that stretch. Good. Don't move. Another deep inhale. Sink a little bit deeper on that. Exhale. Good. Hold. Inhale. Gently roll the seated on an exhale. One vertebra at a time. Good. How you feeling, Casey? Good. All right. See? It's a good workout, isn't it? Yes. So please tune in for part two where we're going to go over back work as well as leg work. And then if this wasn't challenging enough, feel free to move on to our other videos. So thank you for joining us.